Museums are designed to hold the world's most precious historical findings, items, skeletal remains, writings, drawings, you name it. Every possible thing of historical value from around the world can be found housed inside of museums for safekeeping and for the public to view. So today we're going to be listing off the top 5 scary and haunted museums you need to pray before entering. Now I'm not talking about the Warren Occult or Zach Bagans museum here, I'm talking world famous museums from around the globe that you have had no idea were haunted. Let's jump in. In at 5, Frederick Remington Museum. Located in Ogdensburg, New York, this museum was built in 1810 by David Parrish, before eventually being occupied by American painter Frederick Remington, who would later die in 1909, in the house. His home would later go on to house his most notable artworks, opening its doors in 1923, remaining open to this day. Now with a house that has seen a lot of death, it's not crazy to believe that it is housing many a spirit that is yet to pass on. Now, according to Museum director Laura Foster, the most prominent entity residing in the museum is that of Madame Emeriga Vespucci, woman from the 19th century who was reputed to, I quote, to be one in a game of cards, aka killed. Now, in March of 2015, a psychic medium, Frida Gladel, conducted a walkthrough of the museum. She noted that although there was no full time spirits lingering within the bricks, she did in fact encounter a lot of residual energy within its walls, including that of a woman believed to be Vespucci who informed the investigators that it was not cards that killed her, but instead a nasty owner of the neighbouring museum, according to the transcriptions of the walkthrough. Now, Laura Foster has been quoted in saying that a lot of these reports have been embellished and perhaps the ghostly talks of the museum are getting the better of it, but still, supernatural reports keep coming in. In at 4, Merchant's House Museum. Now a museum, the Merchant's House was originally populated by the Treadwell family from 1835 to 1933, and who were rumoured to be haunting the old museum. Many visitors have reported seeing ghostly figures that match up the images of the Treadwell family. Gertrude, the youngest daughter, is most prominently seen roaming the halls. She passed away in 1933. Every year, paranormal investigators flock to the museum, including Dan Sturges, who documents the ghostly activity through recordings and pictures. Though no firm evidence has come out of the investigations, that does not stop the reports from rolling in. Communications manager at the museum, Emily Wright, has stated, the museum would never come out and definitively say, yes, we're haunted, yet visitors have matched reported sightings with images of the family. Very creepy. In at 3, Torquay Museum. Now I just had to include this one on our list, not only because it's creepy as but also because it's in my neck of the woods, Devon, England. Torquay Museum was founded in 1844 and holds a dense collection of artifacts from across the globe. Now there is no firm evidence or folk tales reported on the museum, but there have been two unexplainable occurrences over the last 10 years that even paranormal investigators can't seem to wrap their heads around. To begin, on the 19th of July 2015, an article was published on the Daily Mail website seemingly showing a woman in old fashioned clothing emerging from the floors of the museum. Take a look. Now, now, looking at it, you may just think it's a hazy picture of a girl in front of a fire. However, this picture was taken during one of the ghost hunting evenings at the museum, and according to multiple sources, nobody was in the room. Manager of the museum, Carl Smith, said, We saw something in the middle of the photo, and when we adjusted the contrast, we clearly saw the woman. It was a bit of a surprise and pretty creepy. From the angle of the photograph, it looks like she is submerged into the floor, almost like she is below floor level creepy stuff. However, this isn't the only unexplainable evidence to emerge out of the museum. A year later, CCTV footage captured this moment from the museum gift shop. Take a look. Now, papers flying off shelves isn't abnormal, but the rate and speed in which it happens certainly is. I'm calling Ghostly Farm Girl Spirit for sure. What do you guys think though? In at 2, Smithsonian Institution Building. Opening its doors 10 years after our previous number is the Smithsonian Institution Building, and it is rumoured to host many spirits within its museum, including founding donor James Smithson, whose remains have resided in the museum since 1904. Now, in 1973, Smithson was briefly disinterred after claims of his spirit wandering the halls of the museum at night began to surface. The coffin was opened and his skeleton was still in its rightful place, thank god. The reports still come in of his unsettled entity roaming the building. Smithson isn't the only spirit to supposedly be haunting the building either. Spencer Fullerton Baird is another sighting written about by the Washington Post. Baird was the museum's first ever curator and he is also rumoured to be walking around the halls with Mr. Smithson. Other sightings include explorer Emil Bessels, secretary Joseph Henry, and paleontologist Jean Lafitte. 
paleontologist Fielding B. Meek, who died in one of the castle's towers with his cat. Have you been to the Smithsonian? If so, have you seen anything otherworldly roaming the halls? Crying for help, perhaps? Let us know. And finally, in at number one, the Cleveland Museum of Art. Not only a world famous art museum, but the museum located in Cleveland may now be the most notable for housing the spirit of Claude Monet, the infamous French impressionism painter. If you don't know, Monet had a distinctive look, a full salt and pepper beard, and would typically be pictured wearing bowler hats. So when reports started rolling in of staff spotting a man that resembled that description surveying the museum, people got interested. After a new installation arrived at the museum named Painting the Modern and garden, Monet to Métis, a staff member snapped this shot of a man that looks frighteningly similar to Monet, overlooking the new installation. Now, many have accused the museum of setting the picture up themselves in order to draw on the public. However, with the museum's history of ghostly residents, it seems unlikely. Former museum director William Matthewson Milliken has known to be spotted from time to time wandering around the museum, as well as the subject of the painting Portrait of Jean Gabriel de Thiel at the signing of the Treaty of Vienna by oil painter Jacques André Joseph. They've also been noted to be spotted observing their own likeness in the picture. There are far too many reports to go on, otherwise, we'll be here all day. But I highly suggest you look into the ghostly accounts from the Cleveland Museum of Art. Truly creepy. Well, there we have it. Have you ever visited these museums? Were there any that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go, though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our previous videos Top 5 Scariest SCPs Caught on Camera. Nightmare File said, I think two more people can fit into your hoodie, JK. Honestly, Nightmare Files, you're not wrong. In our next video, I'll be picking two lucky winners to come spend a day in my hoodie with me. Just thumbs up this video to enter. Sarah Poe said, I'm so interested in the SCP Foundation. Thank you for making these videos. You're very welcome, Sarah. I'm glad you're a fan. Usually, SCP is Jack's forte, but he kindly shared a video or two with me. Another commenter said, LMAO, you can tell she did not want to narrate this video. Actually, what you're seeing there is my one singular expression. This one. I only have one. Cool Duck L1 said, I like that she straight up says that these are fake. You're welcome, Cool Duck. At the end of the day, everything's fake. I'm fake, you're fake, we're all fake. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.